Item number SCP-6017, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. It is currently impossible to determine the source of SCP-6017, and as such, fully contain this anomaly. For that reason, any Foundation employee with access to the central SCP database should be familiarized with this file. SCP-6017 manifestations can be detected and redirected from by artificial intelligences devised by the Project Moore. This process can last from 30 seconds for an active anomaly to an hour for the ignored SCP-6017 instance. For this reason, it is generally advised to cautiously interact with manifestation. If, for any reason, AI failed to redirect from an anomaly after 10 slides of compulsion to interact with SCP-6017 becomes unbearable, it is strongly advised to call for help. Attempts to aid unresponsive subjects are to be handled by the site security. For further assistance, contact members of Project Mower. Description SCP-6017 was discovered on BEEP at Site-19, and since then it has been appearing with increasing frequency. Its ability to bypass during initial manifestation any firewall deployed by Foundation and correlation to the central SCP database are under investigation. To contain or dispose of SCP-6017, Project Moa was established three months after the initial encounter with the anomaly. By beep deployment of artificial intelligence developed to detect SCP-6017 after manifestation yielded most promising results, as it is able to redirect from the anomaly to this file. SCP-6017 only appears on devices connected to the central SCP database and takes the form of a multiple choice quiz. It consists of various panels composed of photos, corresponding questions regarding widely understood ecological knowledge, and six checkbox answers. Selecting at least one checkbox is necessary to proceed on to the next slide. A total of Deep individual panels have been catalogued by Project Mower. Further research has been deemed ineffectual. Questions appear in a fixed order and are universally shared between all SCP-6017 manifestations. However, it is impossible to determine which of the given answers are correct, or of the strongly affected by prolonged interactions with the anomaly expressly believe that answers will be verified at the completion of the quiz. SCP-1617 possesses mild mimetic influence on humans that gradually increases in intensity on further slides. Affected subjects gradually find themselves under compulsion to interact with the anomalous quiz. For 99.7% of the tested population, Symptoms of this effect are starting to be noticeable at panel 15 and slide 500 marks, the point where the urge to complete SCP-6017 manifestation becomes irresistible. By that time, affected subject stops responding to any stimulus other than a quiz and may react aggressively at attempts of separation from the anomaly. Without help, humans under the mimetic effect of SCP-1617 manifestations would surely perish. However, full recovery is possible with appropriate care. Addendum 1. Post-Discovery Interview Following interview was conducted on BEEP between researcher Andrew Ferretti and janitor BEEP, the first affected subject. Welcome BEEP. I'm Andrew Ferretti, and I'll be conducting an interview with you about yesterday's occurrence. All right. I've been told you've recovered from the incident. You should be familiar with the protocol. Please state your name and occupation. Beep. I've been working here as a janitor for over two years. Thanks. Let's start from the beginning. You missed yesterday's morning shift because of an unknown anomaly. Tell me everything you remember about it. 
So, it was about 10 minutes to 7.30. I was checking my assignment on PDAP, and then it just opened. It looked like a quiz about plants or something. I had some time to kill. I just gave a few answers and nearly completed it. You can check it. Sadly, your personnel database access point has been destroyed during your struggle to cooperate with the security team. But you were saying that you answered a few questions. Do you feel compulsion to do so? Have you noticed that you spent two hours on that quiz? I didn't know. I don't know. Maybe at first it was nothing. Later, everything is blurry. All right, relax. You're not in any trouble. We just want to know what happened. Do you remember how many questions you answered? Maybe a few hundred. I was so close. Close to what? To the end. To explanation. And that's what made you angry at the security team. That they were trying to stop you. I don't remember. But I didn't feel angry. Just incompleted. Just now, how are you? Do you still feel this way? I. Yes. Are you okay? I. Beep. Talk to me. Interviewee suffered a nervous breakdown and stopped responding. Following interviews were unproductive. Subject lost all memories about the incident as psychic rehabilitation proved successful only after selective use of amnestics.